I don't care, Natalie. Where do you want to eat? How about a little taco taco with the tico tico? <laughs> the food is too hot. And I'm all the fire you can handle. <laughs> Chinese food? Okay, Chinese food it is. Of course. You know what's going to happen. An hour after you kiss me goodnight, you're going to be hungry for me again. <laughs> it's quitting time. And Natalie, why don't you wear the dress with the plunging neckline? Yeah, you know, the one that makes my eyes do all the plunging. <laughs> okay, pussycat. See you soon. Kiss, kiss, kiss. I'll be down. Better be ready about half past eight. Oh, don't be late. Chief don't know I know. What? what? Oh, Chief, you're still here. No, I left an hour ago. You're talking to Tinkerbell. What is it? What do you want, Pruitt? Oh, a new man in the barracks and he's checking in. Oh, what's the matter? Couldn't you handle it? What am I, the welcome wagon hostess? <laughs> What do you say we get some Sara Lee cakes and call in the neighbors? Box's door. For the day. You can come on in, Apodaca. What's his name? Apodaca. Apodaca? That sounds like something you use on a rash. <laughs> Seaman Apodaca reporting for duty, Chief. Oh, here's his papers, Chief. You can put down your bag, Apodaca. <laughs> what do you got in there, a Buick? <laughs> Oh, no, Chief. See, I'm a machinery repairman. I like to carry a lot of tools around with me. You never know when something's gonna need fixing. Good. I can overhaul and repair stuff, like pumps, switches, compressors. Swell. I operate machine shop equipment, like drill presses, bench grinders, power hacksaws. Fine. I work with precision instruments, like calipers, gauge blocks, and both Yeah, Chief. You're boring me. I also do boring, grinding, cutting. Go away! <laughs> Get this man out of here. Assign him to a bunk and locker. Right, Chief. Is there anything I can do, Chief? No, just uh, put away your gear and do something to amuse yourself. I sing, dance, play the... Go! <laughs> Boy, he's sure a queer bird, ain't he? Yeah, he sure is. Well, so long, Pruitt. I mean, what made him think you'd be interested in hearing about all those things he knows how to do? Yeah, well, so long, Pruitt. I bet you got a lot better things to do than stand around and listen to some windbag run off at the mouth. Pruitt? Now you're doing it. Doing what? Pruitt, why don't you get a basketball and dribble past the Jolly Green Giant? Jeez. <laughs> get a basketball and dribble past the Jolly Green Giant. <laughs> Boy, you keep coming up with new ones all the time, Chief, don't you? <laughs> get a basketball and dribble past him. <laughs> Jeez. Hey, I'm glad I caught you. I thought you'd be gone. Don't stop me, Robinson. I've been trying. Evening in San Diego. No, I got a date with the Secretary of the Navy. We're going to the beach and we're going to go skinny dipping. Of course I got a date with a lady. Goodbye, Robinson. Wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. You don't even know why I came in here. Can I borrow your typewriter, Mike? What's tickling you? Use it, but wash your hands before you do. Your jockey shorts? And don't eat while you're using the typewriter. What is this? Well, I don't want to get grease on the keys. Oh, you mean like from ribs? <laughs> yeah. Well, suppose I lick my fingers before I peck. You know what I mean. Oh, so, boss, I know what you mean. I ain't gonna get no grease on these young keys. <laughs> I'm gonna make sure my hands is nice and white, boss. <laughs> Thank you, boss. Thank you, boss. Praise the Lord, boss. <laughs> Hello, Natalie. I was held up. What are you doing, pussycat? Oh, you just stepped out of a bubble bath? Filling in the pink. I wish I could be there to make the bubbles go pop. <laughs> ready or not. I'll be down to get you in the taxi, honey. You better be ready by half past eight. <laughs> Very funny, Robinson. Happens to be my cologne. Going to have a... Did you have a rough night? Lieutenant Whipple, sir. Uh, good evening. I just dropped by to tell you some news. Guess what? What? 
Admiral Kearns is on his way here to pay us a visit. Iron Bottom Kearns himself is coming to our base. <laughs> Do you ever hear how he got the name Iron Bottom Kern? No, no, sir, I don't think I ever did. Oh, well, sit down here and let me tell you about it. <clears throat> it was uh, during World War II, he was on a destroyer in the South Pacific, you see, and he sat for 72 hours, never got out of his... Yeah, last night. What am I supposed to do? Take him into the boxes quarters? They want you there like a hawk. <laughs> that man must have an iron bottom. <laughs> Sir, very interesting. <laughs> Isn't it? I, I just wanted to let you know about the distinguished guest we're getting. You're leaving, sir? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going back to headquarters to check on the exact time the Admiral will be arriving. <laughs> very good, sir. <laughs> I just remember a story that they tell about him when he was still at Annapolis. Uproarious. Absolutely uproarious. Yes, well, I'm dying to hear it someday, sir. Yes, well, in order to do it justice, we need an hour. No. <laughs> well, I'll, t I'll tell it to you one day. In the meantime, I just wanted to stop by and tell you about Admiral Kern so you could rig your ship for visitors. Carry on. Yes, sir. <laughs> it's time to get you in the taxi. Hey, sir, what's wrong with this typewriter? Right? That's what I get for hanging around this barracks after quitting time. Okay, okay. I just want to know why your typewriter's not working. The brother. Have a date waiting for me. I'll see you, Robinson. Uh, Lieutenant Whipple's out there. I tell him I left. Uh, Chief Sharkey? Uh, he's gone, sir. Gone? Well, yeah. he was here a moment ago. Uh, he has some business to take care of, sir, yes. Rats! <laughs> Did he leave? Yeah, he left. Hey, Shark, tell me about this typewriter. Take a cab, Robinson. <laughs> To abroad, when I turn on the... I don't know, uh, I don't know what this business you have to take care of is. ...ride into paradise. <laughs> Admiral Kearns will be landing at the Naval Air Station in about an hour. <laughs> I want you to take a staff car. Go out and pick him up. Me, sir? Well, I certainly can't send anybody less than a chief petty officer, and that's you. Me, sir? Chief, you're wasting time. Now hop to it. Yeah, I know. And now I know what I have to do to get away from all you yo-yos. What's that? Move off the base. Get an apartment in town. An apartment? That's right. Some place where I can have privacy, peace, and quiet. Hey, Shark, that's not a bad idea. I was thinking about doing that, too. What do you say to the idea of you and I sharing them? Fuck the Lieutenant Whipple. I was just on my way to chow with the men. <laughs> It's shocky, ma'am. I'm sure I'll like it. It's, it's very nice. All I want is peace and quiet. Quiet? Well, you just sit right down in that chair and let me show you. Oh, that, sir. That's a deodorizer. Room deodorizer. See, you can't hear traffic or anything. It's very nice. What'd you say? <laughs> I said it's very nice. Oh, yes. You're just like my former tenant, Mr. Farnsworth. May his soul rest in peace. Did Mr. Fonsworth? Yes. He liked peace and quiet, too. He used to sit all day quiet. Leaving, presumably. As a matter of fact, that's where we found him, sitting in this chair, watching Oral Roberts. <laughs> Something I'd like to ask you, Mr. Starkey. Sharky. You're in the Navy, and I want you to know that I just love sailors. My first husband was in the Navy. Oh, is that so? Yeah, but unfortunately, he liked to, uh... <laughs> you mean he liked... Yes, he tasted and like it and finish the bottle. <laughs> he was somewhat of a tippler. No, he was more of a boozer. <laughs> oh, I see. You know, there are sailors who like to... Uh... 
And uh, I hope you're not planning to have any wild drinking parties. Oh, nothing like that, Mrs. Finch. I'll have a dinner party occasionally, invite a young lady friend up to spend the evening, if that's all right. Oh, certainly. Mrs. Farnsworth had a lady friend that came twice a week. That's very nice. Well, if you'll excuse me. Oh, another thing. When you play your television, please don't play it too loudly because I'm right beneath you. Oh, don't worry, Mrs. Finch. Well, in case you would play it a little too loud, I'll just tap on the ceiling with my broom. Oh, that won't be necessary, Mrs. Finch. Oh, by the way... There's a Lutheran church right around the corner. A Lutheran church. Good to know. Oh, yes. That's where Mr. Farnsworth was laid out. Oh, is that so? Oh, I hope you'll be very happy here, Mr. Starkey. Sharky. I'm sure I will be. Oh, thank you. You know, I have to watch my step because I broke my hip once. And I don't want that thing to happen again. You know, I was laid up for... Yeah, we can share. Go through all that again, you know. <laughs> I'll be down to get you in a taxi, honey. You better be ready for about half past day. Za da 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 be late. Gonna be there when the band starts playing. Da ba da da. Ya da da da. Da da da. Have a ball. Gonna date so both of <laughs> She's early. She's anxious. She's ready. <laughs> Just a minute. Coming, coming. Coming, coming, coming. Any wild parties? You know, women drink. Send the spider to the fly. Hi, <laughs> spider, is super fly. Pops, what are you doing here? Uh, see how the other half lives. Oh, Robinson, this is a bad time. Oh, you expecting company? Robinson, no, I'm doing a Manischewitz commercial. Of course I'm expecting company. Now, Robinson, you gotta get out of here. I just came down here to check out your place. I'm expecting a broad here for dinner. Now, will you get out of here? Unless you want to put on a white... Because if you... Remind you this way. No, thanks, I'll leave. Oh, come on. Oh, wait a shock. Uh, since you got your own apartment and everything... You mind if I take the coffee maker from your office? I don't have one of my own. You can take the coffee maker and the typewriter. Now get out of here. Shark, can I stay and meet your lady? I've never seen her. What does she look like? She looks like a lady. Like your lady. Only a little more pastel. Yeah. <laughs> Apartment. Right, right. <laughs> you see that? You hung around. Now you're going to meet her. Help me with the canvas. <laughs> After you meet her... <clears throat> you like this? The crud. Where'd you get this? In the skin doctor's? Buttoned. Also, the musical night. You see, he turned down the bunk that you got. Every other bunk that was assigned to him. Oh, really? Then why don't we get him a war? He ain't turned uh, Button down. He turned it down. On Frankie Lane. That's right, Frankie Lane. You train. Hold it. 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 Not a landlady heard the noise. Now we'll have to get out of here. Come on. Don't worry, Chief. I'll sleep anywhere you tell me. No, you won't. Oh, yes, I will. Oh, no, you look, won't. I'll tell you what you want. I'll wrap your hands in the whole thing. That dog is. Now, you see, there's my company. <laughs> Robinson, do you mind? How do you mind? Come on. <laughs> oh. What are you guys doing here? The ghetto's on the other side of town. <laughs> We got something really heavy to lay on you, Chief. That's right, Chief, and you're the only one that can help us. Our instructor at Radio Man School, he wants to kick us out. Why? He said my hair is too long and I got a blind date. Oh, that's great, great. Where, where are you taking it? I mean, where am I taking it? We're staying right here in the apartment. 
Oh, Robinson, you can't do that to me. Inglés mejor que él y que todos esos gambesinos que And he knows that. What are you gonna do about that guy? Yeah, yeah Chief Man, it's crazy. He can't throw it because he can't throw it. Wait, wait, it's that landlady again. You guys are making too much noise. Now you gotta get out of here. Robinson, you gotta do me a favor, huh? Take a song. Brought to the Wild Kingdom. You're somewhere. I'm sorry to bother you, but I lost my ID card. I know you. You're doing practical jokes. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Besides, uh, my dress shoes. I didn't take your dress shoes, you idiot. Don't go mean it more. I'm gonna redo your nose. Oh, you know no, that? Knock it off. Knock it off. My address. Oh, chief. Uh, I posted it on the bulletin board. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> I hope all of your nails split. <laughs> you know what else, Pruitt? If you and these guys aren't out of here by the time I count to five, I'm gonna roll you up in balls and bounce you out the window. <laughs> what am I gonna do with Apodacus? Yeah, chief. What what do do That you weren't going to have any wild drinking party. And look at this bunch of drunk. Mine's gonna be in a few minutes too. Oh, if they only knew what they were doing to their livers. But Mrs. Finch. Yes. Everybody, yes. Sorry, Chief. Sorry, Chief. Sorry, sorry, Chief. Please get Call you letter in. And thank you too, Mr. Starkey. <laughs> Shocky. <laughs> well, what are we gonna do now? Thank you. There's candles. Lighter? Thank you. Hi. Good night. Because, honey, if you was chief, right? I guess you want to. <laughs> And baby. Anything, anything. I know it's my last chance. Thank you, Natalie. Thank you. I'm walking out the door right now and straight into your arms. <laughs> Clock me. Here I go. <laughs> goodbye, Robinson. Goodbye. I just. Just goodbye. <laughs> Robinson, it's Lieutenant Whipple. He's coming. Uh, good, good. Uh, wait a minute. You're here. What? Oh, yeah. I've, 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 tell them I died in the Philippines. Uh, tell them I'm in the Philippines and I'm going to die. Tell them anything. I don't care. Oh, good evening. Chief Sharky not here? Uh, no, sir. He's gone for the day, sir. Oh, what a shame. I promised to tell him a story about Admiral Kearns, and to do it justice, it takes about an hour. I had a little extra time to kill. Uh, yes, sir, but he's gone for the day, sir. Oh, well, that's, that's, that's too bad. <laughs> uh -huh. Act together, you <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. It's an uproarious story, absolutely uproarious. Go ahead, you'll really appreciate this. Sit down here, sit down. Let me tell it to you. <laughs> It has to do uh, with Admiral Kearns when he was still at Annapolis before he got his, his nickname. By the way, did you ever hear how he got the nickname Iron Bottom? No, no, I haven't, sir. Oh, well, I'll tell you that one. <laughs> 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 <laughs>